those other cats having less leopard calf blood, um, have you talked to people and drawn any conclusions why that might be the case from a like, selection standpoint? You know, are some breeders selecting more just for low deaths? Yeah, I think I think it's actually an artifact of the data. So I so um, I think what what happens is a lot of a lot of the a lot of the cats with high ancestry are, are early generation cats, where they've where a new line has, has recently been bred in, a new uh, leopard cat line has recently been bred in, and those typically have um, more spotted like patterns. I've noticed, um, and a lot of the, the breeders that do that actually are are not so interested in in, in rosette patterns. Um, so I, I think that. I didn't mean to make a strong suggestion that spotted cats have have uh, more more Asian leopard cat ancestry, um, but I think that the the opposite is is uh, is not true. So I so I think maybe my, my initial assumption was rosetted cats would have would have more Asian leopard cat ancestry, or at least a, a, a specific block of Asian leopard cat ancestry. And that it doesn't it, it, it isn't the case that that um, that that's that, that's true. Um, I know that you were working with some of the marble patterns on horizontal flow, and I just wondered how that came out, or if there are any conclusions that you have from that. Not yet. We uh, yeah we're still so so one of the one of the big challenges of these genetic pro projects is is getting very specific classifications of phenotype. And, and I think that's an area where you guys can certainly help us in, in terms of defining phenotypes and measuring them in a, in a quantitative way. And that's kind of, I, I think with flow, it's, it's, a very, it's a very difficult phenotype to, to characterize and quantify in a rigorous way. Um, so, so nothing's come out of the. We've we've actually looked and done some of the some of the comparisons, but we but we haven't found anything yet. So th I think there's two things. It, it it might it might be possible that we just don't have the numbers. So that if there's if it's genetically complex, we need a lot a large sample size in order to see something. Um, so that that could be one issue. But I, I think the other the other big issue is how do you define flow in a way that's that's meaningful. Um, and, and how do you quantify that? If we can quantify it, we have a, a better way of, of doing the genetic research. Thank you, Chris. Um, are we going to be around tomorrow? Are you I'm are probably you? not going to leave early. So. Okay. So, well, you can probably catch up with your mission for a little bit.